everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are in Rudy's house and he is my brand new villager that's just moved into my winter island and isn't he the cutest little Christmas kitty? I just had to have him. He's basically Rudolph but in a cat form, isn't he? Like, cause he has a red nose, his name is Rudy. And that's why I'm putting the similarities anyway. But yeah, today we're gonna be building the area around his house outside. So yeah, let's just get right into the build. So before we get started, I just wanna quickly show you around the area that we're working on today. So he kind of lives in this bit between these roads here. It's kind of like a circle, but obviously it's not a circle perfectly, but yeah, you get what I mean. And this is basically right directly behind my house. My house is just down on the lower level there in front, and his house is gonna be the first of the log cabins that we're building. Now I haven't finished Happy Home Paradise yet, so his house still looks like his original house, but I will be changing all these houses around this area to look like cute little log cabins. And yeah, I'm very excited to do that. Now before anything else though, I'd love it if you could like, comment and subscribe, come and join the Jellybean family. And while we're on that subject actually, 4K, are you kidding me? We hit 4K subscribers and I am over the moon. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. I can't thank you all enough. And oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you everyone for your support. I love you, I love you all. I can't believe the next milestone is 5K. And then, oh my gosh, it's just crazy. I can't believe it, but yeah. Thank you so much everyone. Now back to talking about this build and we're using the lovely log wall fencing here behind Rudy's house. I want to fence his house in but not fence it in if that makes sense. So I don't want it to look like it's in a square box. <laughs> That's basically, you'll see what I'm doing. I don't know how to explain stuff very well. I just do my best, okay? I'm not an explaining person. I just kind of say whatever comes to my mind and hope that that sounds good <laughs> and makes sense. That's basically it. Now we're back to using the wheat field because we haven't used the wheat field for a little while now in a couple of builds. And that's because we've been in the town section. I am currently working on my next town build and I'm very, very excited for it. It's going to be quite a big one and something that I don't think I've ever really done before. So yeah, that'd be super fun. Now back to talking about this build though, because I feel like I always just end up wandering off in my thoughts and ending up talking about something completely different to what I'm actually doing. We're just basically putting down some codes ready so that I can put some items down. Now I will be building this little small section inside the circular area in the road and also the area around it. The only section we won't be doing today is the area directly behind Rudy's house because that is the campsite and I kind of want to do that in a separate build because I feel like that could be quite a big build as well and yeah I just want to join some more extra bits into it. Now here we're just placing a glowing moss boulder because it looks like a pile of snow has been scooped up on the road. There's this item that I can't remember what it's called, but it looks like a snowplow, and I will be using that in a different video. Uh, that will make it look like that's what's been plowing all the snow to clear the roads for everyone to just drive on safely. Now over here, I want to give Rudy a little shed, and he basically collects all the little logs here so he can put them in his fire, and also probably give them to other people to pop in their fire. I feel like Rudy would be quite a nice, helpful villager, even though he's a jock, and most of the jock villagers are quite you know, stubborn and me, me, me type of people, but I feel like he'd want to help everyone. So he collects all the logs so that everyone can use them in their fireplaces to keep warm over the cold days. Now here I've put a little glowing moss stall so it looks like someone's been rolling the snow, probably Rudy or probably one of those cute little chubby penguins that are on the island. I'll be adding a snow person in just a little bit next to that snowball. So yeah, it makes it look like someone's made that. Now over here we just want to fence this in so that that's all fenced off and you can't really walk that way. It's just nice and, you know, overgrown looking. You knew I was going to say the word. Come on, let's be honest, I haven't said overgrown yet. And then here we go, we're going to pop some logs on top of these wooden boxes and then we'll pop some tools up here and I'm going to pop an axe down just by that barrel. And I think that looks quite nice. Also, can I just say the mush log looks like it's where Rudy has chopped down a tree to have the logs ready for his storage. And it looks kind of cute, I really like it. Now I definitely needed something out of the front side of his house, so I went with the sleigh because I thought it was a cute idea. And now we can start making progress on the areas around Rudy's house along the outside of this road. So we're popping down some log wall fencing again. I really, really like this fencing. Like I said, I'm going to be using this everywhere in this section because it's just so beautiful. It's so nice. And we basically want to make this area look quite natural, but I also want to put like a little shed building here because I don't want it to just be trees, bushes and flowers and wheat field because I feel like I always do that. So yeah, let's make it a little bit different. Now we're popping down some of this snowy board code and I thought I'd just mention that all the codes that I do use in today's video can be found listed in the description down below. So if you see any you'd like to use on your island, 
you'll find the MAs down there along with some of the creators that I was able to find. So to make this building it's pretty simple, you just need four storefronts and I've customised mine in the white colour or is it light wood? I think actually it's called light wood. So I've customised mine in the light wood colour and you just put them back to back like this and it kind of looks like a little cabin, shed or just like a little wooden house type of thing and I kind of like it, it's kind of cute. I won't be doing too much more decoration around the little cabin that I've just built because it's not going to be an area that you can walk to so I'll probably just put some bushes, wheat field, flowers, trees and that sort of stuff around it just to make the whole area feel a bit more woodsy. So along this side as well we're going to pop some more of that log wall fencing, it just kind of goes along the edge of the terraforming, I think it looks quite nice and it makes it look like this actual holiday kind of log cabin area so yeah I kind of like that pop down some wheat field here and just in case you're wondering I am using the pale green coloration of the wheat field just because I feel like it looks more like frosted grass then and I just really like it. I love using the wheat field item and I also normally like to use leaf piles as well. So I'm feeling quite lost without them on this island at the moment because I can't really use them. Now I know I guess I could use like the green ones or something but I feel like they look a bit strange. I wish we had frosted leaf piles or snowy leaf piles or snow piles or something like that that we could just run through and it'd be so so adorable and I'd probably stick them everywhere to be honest. So maybe in a future game they'll give them to us but for now I have to just make do with Wheatfield and that's it. Oh I should mention actually I made the decision to change my flower colours. Now originally I was using green mums, blue hyacinths, red lilies, red mums, white hyacinths and white wind flowers but I've changed my mind, I'm only going to use white and red flowers now. So I'm using the red lilies, red mums, white wind flowers and white hyacinths. I decided to get rid of the blue and green, I wasn't really using them much anyway to be honest so yeah I just got rid of the few that I popped around the island. And I think it would just look much tidier, much nicer and a lot more festive with just these colours. I'm still going to stick to using these holly bushes though because I love them and they look so adorable with the snow on top of them. And just look at the little bits of red holly berries coming through, they're just so cute, I love them. Just while I'm placing down some more flowers and bushes and stuff, I just want to quickly talk about island tours on my channel. So I'm actually wanting to tour some winter islands for the next month in December. So if you have a winter island, please be sure to fill out an island tour form and I'd love to visit your DA. Obviously, I'm just going to be visiting completed islands and I'll save non-completed islands for streams. But yeah, I'd really love to tour some winter islands on my channel for the month of December. So yeah, be sure to fill out one of the island tour forms. You can find them on my island tour videos. And if I remember, I'll try and link it at the bottom of this video as well. So yeah, please do fill out a form. So I'm just going to pop some more of this wood log fencing along this side of the cliff as well along with a load of trees to make it feel really foresty and really cosy and then I'm not going to go much further than this along this side I just want to put some bushes behind this wood log fencing here and I think that looks really really nice and then we can start doing some more progress on the other side of this build. So here we are we've got this little section right here and I want to just build like a little sleigh hiring area or something like that. I did one down by my house so I feel like there should be another one closer to all the log cabins so that you could just park them there and pick them up again that sort of thing. So yeah that's what I'm putting here. Now this destination signpost isn't working there so I'm going to end up moving it. And just look at this beautiful code I found for this store. It's like a snowy wooden store and it's so beautiful. I love it. I wish the snow would actually land on the storefronts at the top there because then I feel like it looks so nice, all snowy and cosy. It looks cute. Now, yes, you can see a little tunnel down to the right side of the screen. I'll show you what that area looks like in a different video. I'll do like a little walkthrough bit at the beginning of a video, maybe the next one or the one after, something like that because there is some areas I did build off camera. I don't tend to do big areas off camera. I tend to do little areas that are quite awkward to put into a video or something like that. But yeah, I promise I'll show them off in in a later video and obviously you'll see them in the tour and when you visit my DA. So on this store I've popped a holiday candle and an ornament table lamp and they look so cute there and we've popped a little few sleighs in the front there. I've just used two in different colours just so they mix and match and yeah they just look nice like that. We've got to finish off this area here and where I had a bush next to the festive tree I thought a tree would definitely look better and it definitely does. So we're just popping in some of the last finishing touches of course we're using some of those natural items that I love to use, so we've got the garden rock there, some wheat fill, bushes, and I want to put another bush here and then I think we'll put some codes down. Now that area felt a little bit bare for me still so I decided to pop a little cruiser bike and the destination signpost looks definitely better there, hidden behind the tree but you can still see it. In front of Rudy's house I've just popped a wild log bench, put a custom code down and then there we are done. We've finished the build so let's have a look around.
So there we have it, we finished the build around Rudy's house today. It turned out super cute, I'm super happy with this area. Now if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Come and join the Jellybean family. I hope you have a lovely day my friends and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!